Hey everybody, it's Julia from Darn Good Yarn, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the knit bobble stitch. So I have casted on 35 stitches using the long tail cast on method, but I used a method where you don't have to measure out, so that's why there are multiple tails going on down here, and there will be a video coming soon on how to do that. So for this swatch, I am doing a garter stitch border all around the edges. Um, if you want to do that, you can join me in doing that, or you can just kind of follow along with the pattern that will be inside and not do the garter stitch border. Um, so if you're gonna do the border, do your first three rows in garter stitch. Um, and if you are not going to do the border, you can do your first couple rows in stockinette. So, Now we are going to get started. So after doing your first three rows in knit, you're going to be on the wrong side. So we are going to purl that row. All right, so once you do your first three rows of garter, you're going to be on the wrong side. So we are going to purl this row. If you are doing the garter stitch border, you wanna start by knitting three and then purling across until the last three stitches and knitting three. If you are not doing the border, you can just purl across. So once you get down to these last three stitches, we will knit those. All right. So back on the right side, we are gonna start our first bobble row. So regardless whether you are doing or when you are doing your um, garter stitch border, whether you're on the wrong side or the right side, you will al always start off by doing th starting and ending the row with three knit stitches to keep that border going. So we're going to start with the three knit stitches and then we're going to get into bobbles. So we're going to knit five, one, two, three, four, five. And then in this next stitch here, we are going to do our bobble. So first we are going to knit front, back, and front. So you're gonna do normal knit stitch, but don't pull it off. You're gonna go back up and around, knit through the back loop, 
pull that up and then we're going to knit through the front loop one more time yarn over and then you can pull it off so we have just increased two stitches now we are going to purl these so how that works is we're going to purl through the back. Um, you can turn it around and purl, but for convenience and as like a little extra tip, I'll show you how to purl kind of going this way. So you're gonna take your left needle, insert it into the top, yarn over, and then pull your stitch up and over. So you're gonna do that three times. So we're gonna go into the back of the stitch, yarn over, pull this stitch up and over that top one, and then pull that off the right needle. And we'll do that one more time. So into the back, yarn over, up and over, and over the top. Then we are going to knit three through the back loop. So one, two, three. And then we want to decrease this back down to one stitch. So you're going to do the same thing as you like you would bind off. So you're going to pull that second stitch over the top. And then we're going to pull that first stitch over the top. And then you can kind of puff it out and you've got your first bobble. So then we are going to knit another five. And make sure you're doing this next stitch here after the bobble pretty tight, because the stitches on the sides of the bobbles can get a little loose. So one, two, three, four, five. So now we will start another one. So we are going to knit front, back, front. And then purl through the back. And then we're going to knit through the back loops. And pull these two stitches over. So the first one, then the second one. And then we are going to knit five. So your bobbles will need to be kind of like pushed out a little bit for you to see them. And then after you knit five again, we are going to make another bobble stitch. There's another one. 
So what you're essentially doing is making this little buildup of fabric. Um, you're building off of one stitch and then bringing it back down to one stitch. So we're going to knit five again. Then we're going to make another bobble. And then we're going to knit another five until that garter stitch. So here is where the stockinette stitch goes. And then when we get to this garter edge here, we knit those three. So you finish the bobble and knit eight. Then on the wrong side, we will knit three, purl till the last three, and then knit three. When you get to these bobble areas here, make sure you're kind of making the stitches a bit tighter. And then don't forget to knit these last three. Then back on the right side again, we are just going to knit across. Okay, and then on 
the wrong side. You're going to knit three, purl to the last three, and knit three. So on this next right side row, we're going to knit three to continue the border. And then we're gonna kind of stagger these bobbles. So we are going to knit two and make a bobble. So after this bobble, we are going to knit five. And make another one. And after that bobble, I'm going to knit five. And you can see here how they are staggered like that. And then after you knit those five, making another bobble.
and knit another five. Make a bobble. Knit five. And then make one last bobble for this row. And then we are going to knit two to finish the stockinette section and then knit those three for the garter stitch border. And then on the wrong side, we are going to knit three, purl to the last three, and then knit three again. Um, so all wrong side rows, if you haven't picked up on this already, are exactly the same. Then we're going to do the same wrong side row again. Knit three, purl to the last three, and then knit three again. Knit 